Hello and welcome to the news in brief on Graphic Online. In the headlines, court orders Utah to suspend strike. Asin North MP granted 100,000 CD bill with one charity. Also in court, counsel and prosecution lock horns over medicals gun in court. Police invite Abronye DC over publication accusing John Mahama of planning a coup. And three illegal miners have been trapped at a Galamse site in Upper West Region. And now the news in brief. The Labour Division of the Accra High Court has put an injunction on the strike by the University Teachers Association of Ghana. The court halted the strike, which is currently in its five week, following an application for interlocutory injunction by the National Labour Commission. Per the orders of the court, UTAC must suspend its strike until the final determination of an application by the NLC seeking to enforce its orders for UTAC to call off its strike and return to the negotiation table with the government. Mr. Kwesi Kelly, the latter lawyer for UTAC, says he will study the ruling of the court and accordingly advise his client. Now the thing is that the main motion which is seeking to enforce the directives of the Labour Commission was filed before the injunction application was filed. In our view, the main motion which is seeking to enforce the directives of the National Labour Commission should have been heard first, but the judge thought otherwise and decided that the injunction application should be heard first. And the outcome of that application is what you all witnessed in court today. Uh, the judge decided to grant the interlocutory injunction application. Uh, so that's where we are. The Member of Parliament for Ascent North, Mr. James Jachi Kwesin, has been granted a 100,000 CD bill with one surety by the Accra High Court. This was after Mr. Kwesin pleaded not guilty to five counts of forgery of passport or travel certificates, knowingly making a false statutory declaration, perjury and false declaration of office. During proceedings, lawyer for Mr. Kwesin, Mr. Chachuchikata, had prayed the court to grant his client a self-recognizance bill, but the court refused on the basis of the difficulties the bailiff had in serving the MP with the court process. And Deputy Attorney General Mr. Alfred Tuabuyabua also prayed the court not to grant the MP with a self-recognizance bill, arguing that the state went to great length in order to serve Mr. Kwesin with the court process. Also in court, the Ruja 9mm pistol belonging to Ghanaian hip-hop musician Samuel Dufrimpon, a.k.a. Medical, was at the center of continuous legal tussle between the musician's lawyer and the prosecution at the circuit court today. The rapper who is facing the charge of displaying arms and ammunition in public had filed a motion through his counsel to compel the police to release the gun which was seized at the time of arrest. While counsel Mr. Bobby Benson argued that the said gun was lawfully acquired by medical and as such the gun must be released for his personal protection and use, the prosecution on the other hand opposed the application saying the gun in question was of evidential essence in a trial pending before the court. The case has however been adjourned to Monday, February 21 for ruling. The Abuno Regional Chairman of the New Patriotic Party, Kwame Bafo, alias Abronye DC, has been invited by the police for over a publication. He is alleged to have said that former President John Mahama was allegedly planning to stage a coup. The police have formally charged Abronya DC with two offenses of publication of false news and offensive conduct conducive to breaches of peace. He has since been transferred to the ministry's police station where he will spend the night. According to the police, they formally arrested Bafo, who honored the police invitation and reported to the Accra Regional Police Command. He is likely to be put before court tomorrow, February 16, 2022. In our final story, one illegal gold miner has been pronounced dead, whilst two others are on critical condition at Drapa in the Upper West Region after they were dug out at a pit during an illegal mining operation last Sunday. The disease, Ahmed Zongo, identified as a citizen of Burkina Faso. The two others on admission are Gilbert Waba, 27, another Burkina Bay, and David Tikbe, a 20-year-old Ghanaian. The rescue operation was carried out by the personnel of the Ghana National Fire Service, the Ghana Police and National Ambulance Service. 
According to personnel of the Ghana Fire Service, their office had the distress call around 4 p.m. that some unidentified persons had been trapped in one of the Galamsee sites at Konzokala in Jirapa Municipality while on an operation. News in Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching today's edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at Graphic GH. I'm Ama Echan Amankwa Befi. Subscribe now.